we are ready for bout number two of the Luxury Professional Boxing League week number 14. It's getting very exciting. This is the second bout of the evening. This is light, with light heavyweight contest over six rounds. Now, officials for this bout, Judge 1, Clemente Sean, Judge 2, Confidence Yakbo, and Judge 3, Shadra Kakwe. Now, introducing the boxer, fighting out from the blue corner. This is a young boxer born at Klekpe in the water region of Ghana from the Seconds Art Boxing Gymnasium. This evening is spotted in the red, yellow, blue trunks with white gloves and black and white shoe to match. This is the man with a weight of 173.0 pounds. This is the man from the Seconds Art Boxing Gymnasium owned by the former GBA president, the man himself, the big man, the liquor brain. Now, this is the man with the official record of two fights, no win, two defeats. Presenting to you the man, Samuel Avoli. Switching over to the red corner. And this is the man who is making his debut today as a professional light heavyweight boxer. This is the boxer who was born and bred at Choco here in Accra with a weight of 181 pounds. This is the man who is going to slag it out for the first time as a professional boxer. He has no record, but this is the man who promised to deliver the goods today. Presenting to you, the boxer from the Akotoku Academy. Presenting to you, Paul Saki. And the man in charge of this fight is Nathaniel Obain. Ready to bring you the second bout of the evening. Nathaniel Obinga, centre referee, will be in charge of this fight between Afole and Saki. Clement has shown confidence, Yangbe, all at ringside. Round one. And so, as I was saying, I have seen Paul Saki spar a few times. He has a dangerous right very promising boxer i expect him to do a quick work of afole afole has two fights he's not won any of those two saki in the uh, red trunks he's a told you of that right hand and paul saki quickly wants to get into action finish it off as early as he can Afole at the stages at the receiving end. And like we said earlier on, Afole has fought twice. He's not won any of those two fights. This is Paul Saki's first. Good shot to the head of uh, Afole. Paul putting the pressure on Afole, working on the head, working on the body. The guard is up. And Afole says he's okay. Good shots to the head of uh, Afole. And then Saki will try and work on the body. For a boxer who's making his professional debut, he looks quite uh, promising. And quite already, solid. already there's a huge swelling on the left eye of Samuel Afole. Like the mobility of Saki for a man his size. very very stiff jab and how he's able to mix up the combinations Afole trying to work through the guard of Saki I just it's not been like that successful the way he defends he has a porous defense and with a slick boxer he might be caught right from Mr. Ados Bell has been a careful onslaught by Saki in red trunks. And Afole's right eye is badly swollen at this point, just in the first round. Huge support from the people of Choco, rooting behind the young Paul Saki.
quite a huge boxer, Paul Saki. But he's moving quite effectively well, uh, well, well uh, as well, trying to work on the body. And then goes with the head, the guard of Afoli. Sometimes giving way to those heavy punches, hence the swelling on his face. End of the first round. Afoli will round have to do a lot of comeback two. in the second round. Ken Prince, I, I observed gradually the arena is filling up. Paul Saki continuing uh, from where he left off in the uh, first round, keeping the jabs and the punches uh, coming through. Afole at this time would want to throw a few right back at Paul. Some stiff punches there from Saki. Afole carefully trying to walk out of uh, trouble. Paul Saki also trying to cut the gym or the ring to size. Uh, and currently the, the, the national light heavyweight champion is Prince Okonate. And you also have Jacob Dixon and others in that particular division, a very packed division on the local front. Shot to the head of uh, Afoli. He sometimes keeps his guard a bit low, Afoli. So gives uh, Paul the advantage to land a couple of those heavy punches of his. It's now a give and take affair. Two boxers eventually go into a tango. Closing up gradually, Afole. And Paul Saki, realizing that uh, Afole's guard is down, try to nick a quick one through. Looking for the opening, looking for the jab, looking for the penetration. One to the head of Afole, and then another one. And Paul trying to work on the head and the body of Afole. Afole kept his guard down and again Paul managed to uh, penetrate the guard. And now he tries to fight back. And the left eye of Afole is almost closed at this point. Paul goes in for a clinch and the bell will settle matters for now. Second out. Ni Ashiti Labiden to and a host of others all in this pack division, the light heavyweight well, division. Well, the referee in the middle, Nathaniel Obing, has given clear indication Afole has had enough. Okay, Afole from coming out for more. Fight and he says, I have had just enough. Shall we put your hands together for the two boxes? It was an amazing light heavyweight contest over six rounds. It ended prematurely. So we are ready for the verdict. Now we have the verdict. Shall we put our hands together for the two boxes? Now the verdict that we have here and in round number three by a technical knockout. The boxer who has just made his debut today from the Akutaku Academy presenting to you the winner. Paul Saki. Now, Paul, Paul, let me talk to you, Paul. And uh, very well, Paul, Paul, you are taller than me. Congratulations. So let's begin. Tete, oh fine. Man, man, as a professional boxer, oh Winnie, mini ngomo unangmane. Oh, ina mi shemo. Okay, she 
heavyweight boxer Ghana back when he came, but many Jin Nibinis and work when he came, but in the next few fight, he no banner. Fine. Okay. No, 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 so that is uh, a heavyweight boxer and a promising star. We thank him very much for coming.